Hi there, Hoka Athlete here with an uh, intervention. Uh, we got Coach Sandy in the house. Well, this is her house. Uh, Coach Sandy certified uh, a lot more than I am in strength training, and we took some of your feedback and comments. Sandy has some tips for me, though, right away. In this YouTube video, we're looking at the, my deadlift. So I am a certified strength coach. Yes, so Sandy's like, why'd you film that? You got a lot of form things wrong. We're going to fix it. Thanks for your comments, though, and all the suggestions. I know there's the squat, too, but we're just going to focus on one thing at a time. Deadlift today. So what do you think, Coach Sandy? So I know you can lift 45 on each side, but I really want you to get the form down because we're going to change up your form significantly. Not that you were terrible last time. Like, you did a lot of good things good, but we can make it better. So I really want you to start with lighter plates just to make sure you get the form down. No injuries is going to happen under my watch. So the first thing I want to make sure is that your feet are about hip width apart um, and feet pointed straight. So we're, we're just doing your standard deadlift. We're not doing anything fancy. Not the sumo, sumo style, which I did, I believe. Yes. Elbows yeah. or knees outside of the elbows. Yeah, your knees are in good position. It was just, it was a little different. <laughs> but, I, you know, I was thinking about how I wanted to start this. And I actually, from here, I want you to actually get into your finishing position. So when you pull up and finish. So what I want you to think about right now is, like, if I was going to, like, punch you in the abs, you think about bracing your abs. <laughs> Yeah, so that's one thing. And I also want you to think about like squeezing your glutes. So do that at the same time. Okay, Sage is in a good position. So what you see is his ankles, hips, shoulders, and even like ribs and his head was like all in a straight line. What some people might want to do here is overextend their back and go into too far of a posterior pelvic tilt. This is not a good position to be in. So again, you want to think about everything being stacked one over the other. Um, so yeah, and to achieve that, typically you squeeze your glutes and also like brace your abs. I think I squeeze, I tried to do my sh a shoulder shrug too. There's a little extra action of the yeah, arm. Yeah, it could be a little dangerous too. Um, but it's okay, so stand over or by the bar, like you're about to reach down. Brief comment on footwear. I know this, well, really has to do with, well, all weightlifting in the gym, especially the squat and deadlift. These are fairly firm hokas. This is the Solomar, so it's a pretty low-profile hoka. It's not all squishy, no carbon fiber or special foam. It's a gym shoe, actually, from them. I know some people are like, you got to be barefoot. You got to have minimal, super minimal. I get that concept. Um, we could move on now, Coach Andy. Well, I'll add to that. So I... Uh, I love minimal and like going barefoot, um, but I don't think it has to be done, especially like if you're going to a gym and you're around other people, like that's not great. Or in this garage, it's probably like 40 degrees in here. The ground is freezing. So it's not really practical um, to go barefoot right here, but if you feel safe doing that, go for it. Okay, so. You're gonna okay. stance, your center, your hip. Hip is the part, hip <laughs> with the part, feet straight. Okay, now what you want to do is to start the deadlift, you want your shoe or your, kind of like the bar kind of in line with your shoelaces, kind of like midfoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's good. So Sage only has like a couple inches um, from the shins away from the bar, and that's what you want. If it's too far out in front of you, you're going to put a lot of stress on your back, which is always on the wood with the, these types of exercises. Okay, so now I want you to think about that finishing position I talked about. So squeezing your glutes, abs braced, and now I want you to reach just straight down towards the bar. I just want to see where you're going with this. Okay, that's not bad. All right, stand back up again. Now I'm going to direct you. Okay, as you go down, think about pushing your hips straight back without bending your knees. Hamstrings are not very flexible. <laughs> okay, so pretty tight hammies. That's typically what you want, this is a good way to like set yourself up. So as you like push your hips back, once you feel like your toes are coming off the ground, that's when you want to bend your knees. Um, yeah, so try it that way. Because you want, 
Yeah, this is kind of like oh, hip hinge. Yeah, hip hinge. And then when you your toes are coming off, so now you want to start bending with your knees. And typically, right here, don't lift the bar yet. Actually, get back down. Sorry, in the position, because this is important. You can actually, I can see your toes are off the ground. So actually, bend your knees a little bit more. So typically, what most people want to see, and Sage is doing a good job with this, is your his hips are between his knees and his shoulders. You don't want your hips below your knees or above your shoulders so your back would be like too flat. Um, this is all just making sure you're gonna do this correctly, work the right muscles and not get injured. Okay, so get in that position one more time. I know it's, <laughs> you're squatting just to get there. So what you wanna do here is still think about bracing your abs. And actually, let me start with this. Okay, put your arms back on the bar. So from here, you want to actually press your knees into your arms a little bit just to get the right position. Okay, so that's great. This is, looks beautiful. Now I just want to make sure you're doing everything else right. So get back in that position. Think about bracing your abs. The last thing I want you to do to protect your back is almost think about squeezing your lats a little bit back. Should I do that first before I even reach down? So yeah, I was start to reach down. Uh, my arms are probably fairly short compared to my torso, but I feel like it rounds my shoulders too much. And then yeah, the it's, it's not a big movement. You just want to make sure they're engaged so you're not like rounding anywhere. Last thing here to correct you. Yeah, you just corrected yourself. You don't want to look up. You want to make sure your spine, including your neck, is in line with each other. So kind of like look at the floor. Good. So right now you should feel a little bit in your lats um, helping you out. You should feel your abs brace. You should also feel this in your hips and high hamstrings a little bit. You're gonna feel a little bit of tension. And once you feel that tension, you're gonna go up. And as you go up, you wanna make sure this bar stays close to you. So it should be pretty close to your body. And then at the top, you're gonna think about like thrusting your hips a little bit, making sure you don't overextend your back. You're gonna achieve it by squeezing your glutes, and also you're gonna feel your abs a little bit. So I coming know that's up, a lot. <laughs> coming up from the initial lift, bar is very close to the front of the shins, basically touching the front of the shins. I knew that. Um, you say brace the stomach. I saw you know some people say you should actually inhale on the chest on the stomach cavity to make it firmer. Yeah, so typically to like do the ab bracing, you can take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and that's how you brace your abs properly. So big inhale, exhale, brace your abs. And you wanna keep that to protect your back. Sit down. Good. As we go down for another rep, do we totally Rest, going up again. There's different ways of, of doing it. You can, I would, all the way down. you can Romanian rest for a style. second. It depends, so for some of this is gonna depend on your range of motion. You can, do, you can go all the way down. Think about your right knee pressing out into your arm. Okay, so what you're doing just a little bit with actually your right hip, it's not bad, but you wanna like bring your knee in a little bit. So actually you might wanna reset and move your arm a little bit out to the side. There. How does that feel? Well, I got a little bit of a big leg length discrepancy, so. It's kind of hard to do coordinated movements sometimes. Does it not feel symmetrical? Well, yeah, because I have a leg length discrepancy. <laughs> so I don't want to... Okay, so if somebody would tell me that, I don't know if it's a leg length discrepancy or if one side's stronger than the other, and this is telling you something, well, that you need to strengthen side... one side more than the other. One or side's... maybe you should do single leg deadlifts before you even do a bigger, heavier movement like this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do weight, free weights, uh, small free weights, handheld, could do lunges, um, weighted lunges with just lightweight dumbbells in my hand, probably always be good.
Yeah, I mean, and this is so whenever you add in an exercise like this, start off light. I don't care that people are posting videos like posting heavy. You wanna make sure you're nailing this and just building up strength in this position before you even try to go heavy and do like maybe like three to five reps heavy weight. Just build endurance here and make sure your form is good. So film yourself. Do you feel it in your back? Oh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's pretty light for me. That was good. We could go heavier now. Put some you know what? on there. Everybody's going to have, everyone's going to have some minor asymmetries. Like, I can kind of tell, like, you're not doing it, but you kind of want to turn out your left foot a little bit. That would tell me that maybe you need to strengthen your glute max on your left side a little bit Definitely. that you want to turn your That's foot a out. Weak glute. So if I were you, maybe I would focus a little bit more on my left glute strength. I would work on both, but maybe do a little bit more on your left side or do just a single leg deadlift on your left. Yeah, those could be other exercises we incorporate into the strength training routine, be more well-rounded, address those individual muscle imbalances. And again, it's caused by my <laughs> shoddy hip and uh, leg length discrepancy on the left side, it's just years of imbalanced running makes it so there's you know less range of motion, tighter areas that shouldn't be tight, limits that hip mobility, even the ankle flexion. Well, this is part of the reason why strength training can be so important for runners. And when somebody tells me something is tight, it could be because that muscle actually needs to be strengthened. Because sometimes muscles get tight when they're trying to protect themselves. It's, it's like, like, is it tight and weak? Or is it just tight? Or is it just weak? <laughs> you know, and some people, before they even do an exercise like this, you need to do mobility first to make sure you can get the right movement. I think that really showed probably in my attempts at squatting last week. That was a few like, I, you know, get that, get the butt down while you know, I'm tipping over backwards. <laughs> I yeah, don't have ankle, ankle mobility or hip mobility. It's way worse than the average person. All right, so thank you, Coach Sandy. Check out her channel. Check out our Higher Running YouTube channel and our Higher Running website. We sell training plans for any service, any distance. Some have elaborate uh, other routines just besides just running from mindset to extra strength training stuff. We have a running course, uh, learn to coach yourself as well. Sandy does have a YouTube channel, Running Wild, though. Check her out on Instagram uh, under her name. I'll link to it all in the description below, Sandy Nightpaver. So thanks so much for Coach Sandy. Uh, helping me with these lists and for your comments feel free to comment below this video subscribe like these videos thanks babe appreciate it thanks for actually taking advice sage advice is a good <laughs> listener now too good, good.